Hi everyone, I'm here with Miguel and we're going to be spending five minutes with him, so let's get that time on the clock. Um, Miguel is one of your macro lecturers for second year, one of the compulsory modules for anyone studying economics. Uh, and he's also head of school, uh, recently stepped into that role. So very exciting to be talking with him. Um, Miguel, what's one thing we might not know about you? Um, I'm from the Canary Islands. Very nice, that, that is. That's, I did not know that. Um, and how did you make the most of lockdown? Um, I sunbathed it as a good Canary Islander. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Make the most of the sun. Um, okay, what's your favourite type of music? Uh, absolutely rock. Rock? I didn't have you down as a rock fan. Yeah. Good to know. Um, okay, and what's the best country you've ever visited? I think that would be Japan. Oh, yeah. what, what made it so uh, so interesting? Um, it's so different and at the same time so friendly. And the food is fantastic. Oh, good food. Nice. I like that. Um, okay, so on to our quick fire questions. With food uh, on our minds, Indian or Chinese takeaway? I'll go for Chinese. Chinese, good choice. Um, tea or coffee? Coffee. Okay, um, cat or dog? Cat. Okay, and do you say it's scone or scone? I say scone. Scone, okay, okay. Um, how would you summarize your research in maybe just a couple of lines? So at the moment I'm working on um, the distribution of income between workers and capitalists and how that is shaped by technology in both the short and the long run. Um, and that's the main issue I'm, I'm worried about at the moment. Great, great, thank you. And obviously, I missed a quick fire question, micro or macro. I think that's a little bit obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely macro. Yeah. It's obviously macro, you, you teach macro, it's gotta be. Um, okay, that's brilliant. Why, why more broadly did you choose economics? I wanted to study a subject that was uh, relevant in terms of, you know, it had social relevance, but at the same time, it was uh, technically a bit challenging. Um, and the obvious choice was, uh, economics um, and then I learned how to really really enjoy it um, I didn't know that well what economics was about um, but I realized that it was great brilliant yeah and I'm sure we'd all agree um, okay what do you think is the most pressing issue facing us as economists today I would say at the moment is how to um, deal with the consequences of a, a global pandemic and not just the short-run consequences but the consequences this is going to have in the, in, the, in the next decade, just like what happened after the 2008 global financial crisis. Great, thank you. Um, I guess if we can go on a quick detour, do you mind quickly explaining what you think that those consequences might be, what some of the challenges might be? Well, I think, I, th I think there are going to be challenges in terms of uh, uh, two things, obviously, a slowdown of economic activity. Um, we may start seeing, um, uh, or we are already seeing, uh, firms, um, um, firm bankruptcy bar increasing quite dramatically. And that will affect the financial system. Uh, so you, 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 you get trickle-down effects on, on the economic system uh, happening. But there is another, uh, another aspect that is very important, and is that this may be reshaping the way we work in the future, the workplace. And this will have um, important consequences for the distribution of income. Not everyone can do the same things as before. And this will uh, affect um, people in terms of their family composition, their gender, their skill sets, etc., etc. So this will also have distributional consequences in the future. Great, thanks, thanks for that. Um, okay, you're obviously ahead of school. Um, what exciting teaching developments are there? So at the moment we're doing something really exciting and it's developing a new program on economics with data science with um, an important component on uh, coding, computation, big data analysis, machine learning uh, and I think this is in uh, really high demand in the market um, and we are producing a very nice degree program for the future. Great, thanks for that, that is very exciting. Um, and hopefully students will look into that if they're coming to study here in the next year or so. Um, okay, we've got about 15 seconds left. Very quickly, one piece of advice that you would give to freshers. Um, take it easy to start with, uh, but never hesitate 
try to keep going forward. Great, succinct and good advice there. Thank you. That's the five minutes that are up. Um, it's been great to chat to you, Miguel, and hopefully students will enjoy um, studying here at Kent and also getting to know you over the three years. All right, Thank cheers. you very much. Pleasure.